Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, let's dig into a Bolo category video. Are you ready to hear what it is? Bedding, bedding Bolos. So that can be blankets, sheets, bedspreads, baby blankets, all that stuff, anything that goes on your bed, okay? So I've got some tabs pulled up and we are gonna get started here. Be sure to, um, subscribe, hit that bell. That'll alert you when I post new videos, comment, like, and share. And you guys, if you ever share the video, please, please, please tell me in the comments that you shared. I appreciate that so much. And I just want to be able to comment back with a thank you. So the first item we're going to talk about is this Pendleton blanket. You guys, I'm going to say from my search on blankets, the number one brand that I kept seeing over and over and over with high solds is Pendleton. So if you see Pendleton, grab it. And I go back and forth with blankets. I don't like picking them up because I don't like washing them. And I don't like, like, I don't know. It's just a lot of work. So it's not really for me, but I did pick up some sheets the other day and I got home and I'm like, why did I do this? But they've sold really, really fast. So. Pendleton, be on the lookout. This one I'm not sure about. Okay, it's a Scooby Doo blanket throw. It looks like it's got like an older tag. I don't know if it's an older vintage tag or if it's just like really been washed and used a lot. The feedback on this one's a little fishy. I'm not really sure if this actually went through because look, a bunch of zeros, but there is a 71 and a 92. So I don't know. I mean, I've had people with zero feedback buy from me. Let's do this. Let's go in here. Uh, so I was going to say, let's see, when did this sell? January 6th. I was thinking maybe we could go in and look at the feedback, but the seller has so much feedback that we probably wouldn't be able to find it to see if it was a legitimate sale. So I don't know about that one. I'm kind of on the fence as to whether or not the buyer actually paid. This Pendleton wool blanket, again, super, super cool. This is the tag. You can see it says Pendleton. Most of these are wool. This one had 32 bids and sold for $250.50. Hudson Bay is another one to be on the lookout for. It has a very, uh, this particular blanket is very, very popular. It has a very distinct look. You will know it if you see it. This is what um, the, the tag looks like. So definitely be on the lookout. I don't know if they make knockoffs of this. So definitely look for that tag that says Hudson Bay, just to be safe. Here's another, pen oh, I'm sorry, this is not Pendleton. This one is Ralph Lauren. It's a vintage Ralph Lauren. And Ralph Lauren vintage items, you know, they just do well. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Another vintage Pendleton. This one is from the 40s. Is that fantastic or what? It's even got some damage. It's had 19 bids and sold for $129.50. Grateful Dead. This is just a throw, a blanket, and it only had one bid, but you know, sometimes that's all you need is one person to want your item. When you start your auctions high, sometimes that happens and it does have a little damage there, but it sold for $119.99 plus shipping. This is a, um, I want to say, is it Chanel? Is that how it's pronounced? Let me see. Let me say it to Surrey. Chanel. Okay. No. Chanel. I must be saying it wrong. It's not pulling it up. <laughs> I don't know. This word right here. C-H-E-N-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. I thought it was Chanel. No? Tell me below, guys. Let me know. But anyway, that's what this is apparently called. I don't know if it's like the material. Let me, let me try something. There's going to be some odd silence here while I look this up. Chanel, Chanel. Hmm. Maybe can I say, read it to me. There's nothing to read. <laughs> okay, I don't know how to do this. So it says chenille, maybe? Chenille? May refer to either a type of yarn or fabric 
made from it. It's a French word for caterpillar whose fur the yarn is supposed to resemble. Okay. That's kind of cool. Um, maybe it's chenille. Chenille. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Okay. When I said it, it spelled it right. Hmm. So maybe it's chenille, not Chanel. Chenille. I think it's chenille. Okay. Maybe I should do that before the video, but what fun would that be, right? Okay. So I guess it resembles a caterpillar, the yarn the, that it's made of. So this is really cool, but this had 18 bids and sold for $330. So it's like a bedspread. Here is another one. Chenille, chenille, vintage chenille. And yeah, it does kind of look like caterpillars in a sense. It's really, this is really, really neat. It's a peacock, guys. How beautiful. This one sold for $205.75 with 12 bids and free shipping. Here's another one, chenille. I think I got it, chenille. $119.38 on this one with 27 bids. And I feel like I see these at like estate sales and stuff. This one's amazing. You can see what the material looks like. So tell me below, did you guys know about this or did you not know about it? This one only went for $87, which is kind of surprising, but it's missing some of the chenille in a few spots. I'm glad I looked up that definition for everyone. So this is just an Amish uh, quilt. Diamond in a square, jewel tones, hand sewn, sold for $510. That's amazing. Amazing. That's another thing too, is like displaying them for pictures. Like I'm not going to put it on my bed if it's pre-owned. I'm just not. That's just me. So getting good pictures is really hard. I do like how they have this one hanging. But how much work was that to hang that from the ceiling? Probably a lot. The next item, see, this is on a bed. And if it was like my personal blanket that like my grandma made, okay, I'd put it on the bed. But something that I pick up like at the thrift store or something like that, I mean, I guess if I washed it, it would be fine. I don't know. Maybe I'm being ridiculous. I probably am. But I see these at estate sales all the time and I probably need to take a closer look. But again, like looking for stains, looking for defects. I guess I'm just being lazy. And maybe, I mean, $430.77 this sold for with 24 bids. It might be worth taking it to a dry cleaner and having them try and get the stains out or just disclosing it, you know? I don't know. What are you guys' thoughts on this? Probably throw it on the bed. Who cares? The next item is this hand stitch quilt. Again, I feel like the fancier, the more unique, the more they go for. This one went for $386, I'm sorry, $368.99 with five bids plus shipping. This is another one. Um, it's called Grandmother's Flower Garden Hand Stitch Quilt. And I have some hand stitch quilts, but my grandma made them and I'm hanging on to them. $291 this sold for with 26 bids plus shipping. Here's another one. And grandmother's flower garden must be the, oh, what do you call it? Um, the pattern, the pattern. The next item is this quilt, this antique quilt. I don't know. Uh, they're calling it Nebraska block. I don't know what that means. Maybe that's the pattern. I don't know if every quilt pattern has like um, a name. Maybe it does. But this one sold for $230 with seven bids plus shipping. This one here. You know, again, it's got the cute little um, butterfly. But these are just uh, quilt blocks, you guys. These are not, this is not a quilt. 
just quilt blocks. This one sold for uh, $91 with 22 bids plus shipping. This is a Dresden plate quilt block and it's feed sacks um, and vintage cotton. This one had 78, I'm sorry, it sold for $78 with 40 bids. And uh, I'm fighting a migraine today, so I'm a little bit off. Again, these are just quilt blocks and $78.99 plus shipping. The next item are more just quilting blocks. These are smaller. And I guess people buy these and then they make quilts out of them. Sold for $51 with nine bids plus shipping. Baby Morgan blankets. If you guys do not know about these, you definitely need to. For some reason, these are super popular. This is what it looks like. Check those thrift stores, guys. Check those garage sales. This sold for $108.50 with 20 bids. Here's a blue one. Same thing. Sold for $104.26 with 20 bids. This vintage Mickey Mouse uh, twin flat bed sheet sold for $101.93 plus shipping. This is just a vintage geometric queen sheet set. Sold for $67.50, five bids plus shipping. Fraggle Rock, this is a fitted twin sheet, sold for $40 plus shipping with 14 bids. And in one of my recent What Sold videos, you guys can see some of the sheets that I picked up at a thrift store and that I sold. McDonald's flat twin sheet, $114.38, nine bids plus shipping. And the last one I'm going to show you guys is this vintage 1990s X-Men twin flat sheet. Four bids sold for $60 plus shipping. So there is definitely, definitely money to be made on vintage or newer items if you find the right ones. Um, bedding. Again, I think it's hard to picture. I think it's hard to look over everything and make sure you disclose every stain or every defect. So I'm not a huge fan of selling bedding, but some people make tons of money selling bedding. I mean, it can be an amazing bolo as you've seen. So those are some items to definitely be on the lookout for. Comment below with what you guys sell. Do you guys sell bedding? If so, what's your favorite thing to sell? Do you like taking pictures? Do you have any tricks or tips that you can share with the rest of us about how you take pictures of bedding? Like the kids' blankets, that's easy. Um, when I did the sheets, I just took, I laid them out um, like on my freezer and I just took a picture because it's just a sheet. It's not like a whole bedspread where you need to see like how beautiful it is to really sell it. Um, so yeah, comment below. Let me know what you think. Did you guys like this category video? If you made it to the end, comment, I made it to the end. Please comment, like, share, and hit that thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome evening, and I'll see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching.